another update for this video quickly give you some uh, context made it in February that's it enjoy the video yo what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video and for today's video we have got another unboxing for you guys now this t-shirt may look very very familiar that is because it is this t-shirt I wore when I saw Mark Malak a couple weeks ago and it was a very awesome experience I got to see David I got to see Laserbeam and Mully who was there I don't know why Laserbeam and Mully were there but yeah they were just there at the event so that was really really cool let's get into the unboxing so for this pair we have it is not this pair this pair is coming soon but it is this pair right here. So yeah, uh, this is a very cool box that we have right here, a nice gray tone. Grab the whole of the box, with the jump in on the back and the front. For this pair I bought a size 11, right there. I think it's a bit too close. So let's open it up. As we open it up, we have a nice cement rippled uh, tissue paper. Got my fans on, so it's my fans also, that's why I moved the tissue paper just a little bit like that. But yep, so if we open it up all the way, we have the brand new Air Jordan 6 Cool Grays. Now, this pair is honestly so sick. I do love myself a Jordan 6, but this has to be probably one of the coolest 6s I've seen drop this year because it's just a nice colorway that can go with anything. Overall, on this pair, I'd have to say the mix with the leather and the suede or nubuck right here is on point. But the, I'd have to say the greys are a bit of a weird colorway, honestly, because it's not like the cool grey 11s, which are really, really cool. This is, it's still a decent colorway, honestly. I do like it because this is like an everyday colorway. It's just like the blue on the sole doesn't really do it justice. But again, I say that being a hypocrite because I'm trying to compare these to cool grey 11s, which I've had before. Still, it's not really an ideal shoe, if I'm being honest, because the colorways look a bit weird on this six but still it's a decent colorway to have if you're starting off as a sneakerhead but overall with the just the gray tones with the white and then like like they, they did a good job on it i'll admit jordan brand you did a really good job on this pair i'll admit that straight up but i don't know how to describe it but it's just not the colorway or it's, i don't know it must be the colorway but it's not for me because i love the sixes because i've got the carmines down below right there and then i've got the unc sixes which are honestly my favorite Jordan 6s, which I own so far. I mean, I know I only have two pairs of 6s, but I love the different Jordan silhouettes. I can't just be a Jordan 1s or a Jordan 4s type of guy, which I am, but I do love the 1s, the 3s, the 4s, 5s, the 6s. Like, I like those classic colorways because you just got to change up the variety. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's where I'll put these at, honestly. Back tab with the, night, with the Jumpman and the Air. Never really been a big fan of. I've always preferred the Nike Air, honestly, but in saying that, I do sound like like a bit of a hypocrite because some pairs which of Jordans which I do like like the DMP6s they have the Jumpman uh, on the back but I think it has a 23 but still it's like it just doesn't look good do you know what I mean? Since it's embroidered, it doesn't really look the best. I do like that new patch, which they've been doing on the back. Instead of just this jump man with the air, I think that would have looked a lot better and made the rating, for me personally, a lot higher for this pair of Jordan 6s. So, mentioning that, it's time for the sneaker rating. So, for the sneaker rating, I'm going to have to give these an 8. If I'm being honest, if I'm being totally legit, I'm going to have to give these an 8 out of 10. Mostly, this colorway just doesn't do justice. I don't like it, but still, I'm giving it a bit of praise because the leather, the quality, and the attention to detail is actually decent. Like, the new buck on this pair is actually really nice and soft, that I'll admit. And then the leather as well, it's nice and soft as well. It's not buttery, but it's nice and soft. So, it will, it's a nice wear for the person who has this on their feet. The blue sole as well, I'd have to say they did a really good job on this pair. you got to be careful with clear soles because with pairs, they do start to yellow over time. But if you just don't care if they're yellow, I, I don't care if they're yellow, honestly. But I, at the same time, I do. Because when they're brand new, it's like the best feeling in the world. I don't know. I'm just, I've gone off track right now, but for this shoe, it's going to be an 8 out of 10. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next one that I've got for a sneaker unboxing because it may be a giveaway. This is Katsy Kick signing off and I'll see you in the next one.